the Shrinky Dinks and the dragon who couldn't fly in a land filled with towering sunflowers and rivers of bubbling milk lived two unlikely friends. Pip, a tiny gnome with a mischievous grin, and Bartholomew, a grumpy but kind dragon with scales the colour of burnt toast. Bartholomew, unlike his fire-breathing brethren, had a terrible secret he couldn't fly. His wings, Thuanormus, were riddled with holes, leaving him grounded. Pip, on the other hand, was full of energy, zipping around on his trusty ladybug named Lulu. One day, a frantic butterfly buzzed into Pip's workshop, her wings a flurry of panic. The annual sunflower festival is ruined, she cried. The grumpy gobbler has stolen the magical seeds that make the sunflowers bloom. Pip, never one to back down from a challenge, decided to help. Don't worry, Flutterbee, he declared. With Bartholomew's strength and my Shrinky Dinks, we'll get those seeds back. Shrinky Dinks? They were Pip's latest invention, magical shrinking discs that could make anything miniature. Pip envisioned Bartholomew, shrunk down, sneaking into the gobbler's lair to retrieve the seeds. But Bartholomew balked. Shrinking myself? Ridiculous! And how am I supposed to fight the gobbler if I'm the size of a pebble? Pip, with his usual optimism, reassured him. We'll figure it out. Together we're unstoppable. So with a sprinkle of shrinky dink dust, Bartholomew shrunk to the size of a bumblebee. Pip, perched on Lulu's back, held on to Bartholomew tightly as they flew off to the gobbler's lair, a gloomy cave at the foot of Mount Molasses. Bartholomew, surprisingly agile in his tiny form, snuck past snoring goblins and dodged piles of discarded candy wrappers. He found the stolen seeds guarded by a sleepy gobbler, snoring like a thunderstorm. But just as Bartholomew reached for them, the gobbler stirred. Join us on our enchanting journey through tales of friendship, adventure and wonder. Subscribe now to experience the magic with us.